Hello and welcome everyone. Finally it's time to make a new guide for this. Damn, it's been such a long time. Anyways, here's 708. It's really hard, you can pause the video there and read that note. Um, there are a few different teams for this. Uh, you can see the gear here as well, just pause it. Um, um, but yeah, there's a few things to do here, definitely. Uh, but I think this is definitely the best one. I had a guildie actually that uh, got the top one spot for now because he uh, went with this thing and when I tried it, it took like three tries or something. I think I spent like two hours at it first. Uh, super RNG fest this. It's that tower that messes everything up really. Um, so you can see here it's one time speed and 60 FPS. That made a huge difference. So you can see Camel here, he's gonna fire properly. Because uh, he would just be all over the place on 120 FPS and, and you know two times the speed. So as you can see, it's just perfect. Everything is stacked up really nicely there, and yeah, stunned everything there. We didn't lose uh, future princess just yet, which is nice, of course. And then another perfect shot in there, really beautiful. And you can see the timer; we we're well ahead as well. And the tower is just minding its own business down there, and yeah, looking good. Uh, looks like FP is. Having some trouble there, but no, she recovered, that's nice, and here comes the next shot, right in there. And yeah, there we go. Almost. Beautiful. It, it looks so stupidly easy like this. I don't know if every try is going to be like this, obviously, if you don't have the stats or whatever, or, or some luck or something, but this is, yeah, so much easier. Anyways, moving on, 709 to 714. Um, so I was using the same setup here. This is not the best setup as it said there. Also, you want injury card right now, by the way. There's going to be a tower that will kill your party otherwise. That's the thing. Um, there's just replace one of the cards on you, and so he with injury cards, and you're good to go. Uh, you see that little green one down there? I believe we are... Um, yeah, I'm doing it here as well. You can just see there. Um, this setup, like I said, it's not the best one, uh, but I saw that it can be used all the way up to 720, so I figured I'll, it just goes easier, right? I'm just lazy, so, um, and obviously there was that little race as well to make it as fast as possible. Now that plan failed, because my guild was already at the top when I got past 708, but anyways, here we go. Yusa spinning around in there, little mosquito dead. And here comes the chain, and you can see there on the cut in there, that's without the injury cards at the exact same time. And yeah, it didn't end up very pretty, but uh, yeah, with, with the cards it's, it's no problem to survive there. It's just the um, the tower that messed them up. So, there we go. And, yep, and that's a clear. Nice, ooh. Let's see now. Right, moving on. 710. So at this point, I will be using the preset again, putting that on again. That's with the crit cards. I figured I wouldn't need them again. So just put on the DPS cards. And here comes the next one. And I put it on auto here. Actually, I just figured it would be super easy to get through. So um, we're going to do some small changes along the way, but yeah. This works, it's not the best, definitely not, so, you know, I just saw that it worked, so. Uh, also, another tip is that you're gonna see so he's getting battered pretty hard here. Uh, maybe not on this one, yeah, I, I almost died there. And she will die later on. Uh, I would say that you might want to make her a little bit more tanky. Because if she dies, it's just a loss. So, uh, just worth keeping in mind. Um... But other than that, it, it worked, it did the job. But I understand that maybe not everyone has these heroes built, because they are like kind of niche or, or, you know, not the first choice when you're thinking of building a hero. Uh, but yeah, these levels are easy. The hard levels here are 708 and 720, I would say. So if you're kind of low on stats and you barely make it past 708, um, you might be having troubles at uh, 720. Um, but other than that, it's pretty chill. And there we go, another easy one. And now we're changing the positions. 
so I did die on 712 there on the auto so what happened here you have that fat guy in the middle the ogre and it's an earth one so it's gonna mess use up pretty badly so I just went with this now I was like okay let's go and it worked so um, just showing because this is what I did by the way like I said there's probably other setups that would be more successful here and so we died instantly there which is obviously a waste so what you can do there is obviously to make her more tanky maybe put her somewhere else where she doesn't run in there and just die and you can see here it was super close for me to die there too um, I would probably say this is not the best setup for this one but it worked so me me uh, injury cards of course as well uh, you saw that tower down there. Um, not sure I used the injury cards. Maybe that's why it looked so scary. That could actually be it. That could actually be it. But yeah, either way. Because um, I don't remember myself. Because uh, I just saw the ogre and it was like earth. And I was like, okay, that's, that's bad. So... Um, but yeah, yeah, we have another team of Earth in the in the in the start there, and yeah, of course, using Usayer is probably not an amazing idea. But I figured, let's just see what we can do with this team. So, and of course, we don't have the injury cards here at least. So yeah, spin, 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 kill everyone. The monk flew away. Now we're going for the defensive tower. No, it hit us. But that's fine. Doesn't matter. Plenty of time. So yeah, all, all of these floors are super easy. And auto is of course back on, so... Alright. Moving on. To... 7.14. And that was a very close call. But the enemies are very squishy. You have some monks there and, and some fire enemies. So I was like, yeah, let's go. Uh, probably a Garam team would be very nice here. Seven fifteen. So this one is interesting. The user team, I believe, it works here. Uh, what I did is I actually cut in a small thing here. You can see the end of that team. So so he died very early on, and then I died due to timeout on three percent. So I think this team would actually work here as well. It's just that so he died pretty early. So I just went with the Plan B team, which is the Garam gang. So and you can see the gear, the equipment here. That's with FP in a full tank build, and then we have Ogma with the usual stuff. And yeah. 1.6 million, that's like higher than I actually thought it would get. thought it was going to be lower due to the changes they made. Uh, the scaling after, I think it was 83, would be lower. But yeah, anyways. Um... <laughs> There comes the meteor. So, so this is interesting actually. If you get a meteor on you and you don't have the chain up of FP that makes you immune to the next three attacks, your camel and your... Um, you see there, they didn't take any damage. Uh, they will die. The bombs from the Sakabi though, doesn't matter. It's like whatever. But it's the Dolph meteors that, are, are, that can wipe you here. So just give it a few tries until it works, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that did the job and, you know, all good. Now we have 716 to 718. Um, I just went back to the user team and it worked splendid. Uh, there's another injured tower on uh, the next one, by the way. So when I use that, here's the equipment of those. You can see that, and we're gonna be putting on the injury again. Otherwise, it's gonna be bad. We can see here my usage is using sharpshooter and just full attack cards. If you actually put on something tanky on her uh, in terms of accessory and like defense cards, I think that would probably be a better idea. Because as you can see, time is not an issue here. It's more like survival, and that's kind of annoying when they when they die that early on, or you know. And here we go. Injury tower ticks there. Doesn't matter. We don't care about that. Except Yusei got like a punch in her face there, but she survived at least. Uh, probably not the best team for this either, actually. <laughs> it's those earth enemies, the golems. Living armor, I think they call those. But yeah. Doot, doot, doot. 
Spin, spin, spin. Takes a while, but there we go. Time is still pretty fine, but yeah, as you can see, I mean, if you have less stats or whatever, don't go for this team. <laughs> there are better ones. Uh, these are more or less all one shots, so that's why I just kept going. Because uh, you have to also consider that we just had a level up, so I was like, I only level up these characters, because if I would like start mixing with other ones, I would have to level that up, and yeah. But here we are, next one, and there's also another ogre, and a laser tower, by the way, and I was like, oh no, not again, because I was pretty much scarred from 708 at this point, but I was like, oh, let's just go anyway, so you can see here, the tower fires downward right into Ogma, he dies, but he's still fine, because, yeah, it's not that dangerous, I'm a little, little bit scared there, though, figured if that ogre would do something stupid to my user, but, yeah, wasn't too bad. So, bye. Nice you. And then we have a few floors left until we get to the next um, possible roadblock for a few people. And that's so you can see I've already unlocked them at this point. I messed up, so what I did was that I, I turned off the recording when I was going to start recording this, and I thought I recorded everything, so I had to go back and, and do it again. Um, but like I said, my, my guild was already at the, at the top spot for that one, so yeah, I figured it doesn't really matter. I was a bit stressed though, because I had another friend that I told them about, uh, you know, to get past the 708, and it worked super fast for them, by the way. It was like 10 minutes later, I was like, oh, thank you, it worked. So, I was like, oh no, I, I have to, like, still go a little bit, so then get like a third spot again. But yeah, um, like we saw there, super sweet, got it. And then, we have... The next floor, let's see what's going on here. I think, yeah, so I actually used a different setup because I got pretty hard bunkered here on 719. Yeah, so there's another team going on here. Um, let's see which one it's going to be. It is my backup team. The light one. So I just figured I'll go here. I don't have the equipment for this team, sadly. Um, but I believe FP is using... Either the mirror shield or she's using the minotaur shield. I can't remember exactly. Uh, and then the rest of the. I think there's a vending machine on Gabriel that we didn't get any use for now, I see. And also. Maybe a, another vending machine on Eleanor, a level 3 one though. Um, yeah. And then full DPS for. Um, what's her name? MK99. Yeah. But yeah, this one just ran it over, so that was nice. Um, so there's that. Mm -mm -mm. And that brings us to 720. What could be here? Well, this one was surprisingly easy for me at least. Um, so what's going to happen here is that I'm going to show you one attack first. But the team works. So what you want to do here is to use this. However, you should use a MS on both Lupina and Beth. The reason for that is that there's a Lavi that's pretty tanky in there. And that's going to be where you're spending most of your time taking that one alone. So you're going to get more out of that one. Uh, the, the, the MS. Because um, that's where it matters in the end there. Here's the positioning. Um, so yeah, from you can just use this right away, you don't need to watch this necessarily, but I just wanted to include it anyways, because it was pretty interesting to see actually the difference. So, uh, let's see what happens here. Beth flies in there, and yep. That the Eva pretty much hurts, by the way. So that could be a problem, but yeah. There is another setup for this as well, by the way, which is including uh, Lilith instead. I personally didn't use it, that was a very close call by the way. So yeah, uh, you can see there are, there could be definitely some issues here for someone with lower stats, but uh, and now you're stuck on the lobby and that's all you have, so th this is where the MS has come in. And they're gonna activate about now I believe. Um, now it's obviously a race against the clock, but as we have the MS going on here, uh, definitely, definitely out. 
Uh, sorry, we don't have damage here, and that's why we are not making it, although it was very close. I was actually looking away at this time, so I was like, ah, oh, nice, easy, what the fuck, you know. And then I looked back, I was like, no, what happened? And then I figured out, like, oh, that probably happened. So now we're putting the damage on, sorry. Um, so yeah. There we go. Now we're gonna go with the exact same thing, but Amazon Lupina will see the difference. So what happens now is that uh, Beth is gonna go in there and do her thing and see what happens now. She's gonna be scary once again. Yep, Beth almost died there. Oh, Ogma got battered as well, but Mia is healing like a god. Goddess. And now we're gonna see, now that the MSS will activate on both, and we'll see the difference here. Yeah, you can see it's not even close this time. So it's like, okay, well. Um, so yeah, now the scary parts are over. Now it's just some fun stuff. So if you want to stick around and watch the end, that's uh, up to you. Uh, there's a nice surprise on the last floor. Not the last floor, but you know, for now. Uh, so yeah. Uh, also, in the end of the video, like after 7, uh, 724, there's gonna be some uh, KR post that I'm gonna show for some other alternatives for you. Uh, which I think could also be nice, of course. And I also discovered here that I didn't level up my Lupina, nor her weapon, which was an interesting thing. <laughs> so yeah, oops. Uh, but yeah, so that can happen. Uh, bad luck. Um, totally, uh, <laughs> I didn't think of that because I was excited to keep going. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, this is just to show actually because I wanted to see the difference with the Max Lapina, but then the RG didn't play us. And um, yeah, boom. <laughs> so that could definitely happen. So maybe I just got lucky there actually. Um, and you know, things just went really well. So I think that, um, yeah. That can definitely happen. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Uh, what's interesting is that I actually misclicked on 720 again and went in, and I thought it was 721, so that's why I changed position here, because I was like, oh no, uh, but obviously this team was a lot easier, so... Because uh, I thought it was like, I don't know what I thought actually, I didn't really look at this point, because I was like multitasking as well, that's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, here we have it, just that little guy chasing my back line is annoying uh, but yeah there we go and poof moving on so, so yeah just to summarize while we're watching this because it's pretty boring um, the uh, what's it called the 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 708 has pretty much two ways to do it, as I know, uh, or two and a half, I guess you could say. There is the 120 max FPS, two times speed with Camel, and the same thing for the Beth team. Uh, then there is, of course, the thing that I showed you with the one times speed and 60 FPS. Um, I don't know if there's any other ways to do it. Could be. I know Epi actually got this before the updates, he got it to 10% with the Lapis team, um, but that was just messy when I tried it. So. Uh, now, so it might be like a one-hit wonder, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I would prefer the one that I used, definitely, or suggest. Uh, then for uh, 7.15, it's like, you know, semi-annoying maybe, potentially. But there's multiple setups, like this, there's the Garam one, and then there's the Yuzu one that obviously would have worked if so we didn't die there. So I think there's some different ways to do that, so... Um, that's for sure, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, and then there's of course 720, that is um, probably going to be an issue, but also setup for 720 I've seen, I remember seeing two at least, there's this one and the, there's one with Lilith, like I said, uh, so that's worth keeping in mind. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, for the rest of the levels I'm sure you can use pretty much whatever, because it's kind of, yeah, doesn't really matter. Uh, and now we are getting close to the last point here. 
that's the 724 so i was thinking like i know we're gonna get stuck here N not sure how hard though but i i knew we we're gonna get stuck anyways so let's see here so i actually did a funny because i figured that team is gonna be there for a very long time now and well here you go <laughs> i just had to put marvin in there just to see if he can survive and he looks so hilarious and then of course my knight i love my knight it's like the avatar that I use, I mean, for my Discord picture and everything, so I figured we have to do that. And yeah, here we go on the towers, and we have. Yeah, I just I saw some fire here in there, so, or, or enemies, so I figured we got a lead would be nice, and then we're only can heal a little bit. And yeah, I mean, you see Marvin up there, he's very angry at that tower, not really taking any damage, that's pretty nice. Sort of jumped there too, he just leapt over the whole map, looks pretty funny. And yeah. Last tower, and here we go. Yay. And here they are. <laughs> Look at that. That's so funny. Gotta make a thumbnail out of this. 100%. Anyways. You probably may wonder what is on 725. Well, let's find out. Let me show you. But before doing so, I'm just showing the gear here. Or the equipment. It's just, yeah. I just made Marvin really tanky and my knight too. But yeah, let's see. So here we are. Um, it's from my stream, by the way, the whale stream I made. And yeah, so um, I know there is a ranged immune enemy here, so that's why I'm going from melee uh, team here. I did use uh, try the water team initially, just as I passed, because I figured that would be the way to go since there's a minotaur boss here. Uh, but that obviously didn't work since there's a melee, melee immune one. So I figured let's just go with like a standard issue melee team here and just see what happens. And well, this is what happened. You have an enlarged Catherine up there. You have the Minotaur. Then you have the Shapira with a ranged immune shield. You have that little healer up there behind the axe. And then there's a tower as well. It's a really nasty one. Look at this now. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> what? So I don't even know if the next level cap is going to do this. Because like, maybe we can survive a little bit longer. But I mean, you still have to have the DPS as well. I mean, it's a lot of HP to go through. So yeah, I don't know. Ugh. Horrible things. Horrible things. Anyways, um, let's move on to the KR stuff now and see the alternative methods for getting to this point. So let's have a look at that. So, BRB. Ah, snore out my microphone muted, so we'll have to do this again. Anyways, here is 708. Uh, that's the bet set up there. You can see the positioning, and you can see they said that they have one second left, as the picture shows. Uh, so that's probably risky. Here's a different kind with a similar thing. Really frustrating this, by the way, because this guy has so much lower stats than I do. So it's like, it just didn't want to work, because that laser tower would just mess with me every time. Here's what I used, however. Uh, however, this guy used, I believe, max FPS and also two times speed. So... Um, probably got really lucky there as they wrote uh, 7010 not sure why they're showing this really uh, it was pretty whatever uh, 715 I mean that's the one we used and it worked so yeah nice then we have uh, 719 um, yeah that setup can probably do just as well as the user one um, I've seen some variations put me in there as well instead of uh, FP but yeah here we have something, that's 720, that's the one we used, it worked like a charm, so thanks for that, not sure what he means with the putting his shoes in the shop there, but there we go. And here's an alternative which I think could be maybe even better, who knows. Uh, this bet for example lacks 30k DPS compared to mine, the Mia doesn't even have an MLB weapon, and you know, so and they, used, they got it on the first shot with this, so maybe. Uh, definitely a nice plan B to get through this one. Um, and then we of course have this one here, which is like a nice compilation of everything. Uh, sadly there is no um, equipment shown, which is uh, quite disappointing, but uh, other than that it was also a nice resource. Um, so yeah, maybe that's also gonna give you some options and such. See here. And, and yeah, that's where I got the user team from, so I figured, like, yeah, let's use that. Uh, here, we have uh, also something I made. I was uh, sitting on the Korean server and uh, refreshing the thing when they got the update, and I just took notes. You can take, as an example, 715 there with Garam. Uh, that's the one that got through that floor. So the floor number that's in front is the one that got through. 
uh, also that little four on 719 as like the fourth place. I just figured to kind of get a, an idea of who was faster and you know to get the most efficient one. But yeah, uh, but then I saw the use team could be used for everything, so I was like, yeah, why not? Here at least you don't need to care about that. It was just so I could level things up as fast as possible when the thing opened. Uh, but yeah, this shouldn't be a long picture there. Obviously, it's a Zoe, a Zoe one, yeah, um, for the one we used there, and um, yeah. I think this could definitely make some alternative for you and uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's going to help uh, as many as possible to get up to uh, 724 and as you saw we're probably going to be stuck there for a while. Uh, I'm not even sure like I said how to even get past that thing because like even on another level cap like sure we can maybe survive a little bit longer than what did I survive at 3 seconds uh, but you still need to kill it too right so I mean you have a boss fire you have an enlarged water so that takes uh, obviously earth out, um, the, thanks to the boss I mean. Um, you could play water of course, but I mean what are you going to do then, because there's a range immune uh, enemy as well, so it's really 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 shitty. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm not really sure how we're going to do that, maybe we just need to wait for a new OP melee water hero or something, you know, maybe Hanna set up, nah I don't know, probably not. But yeah, either way, it's gonna be really, really, really bleh. So yeah, probably gonna be here for a while. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye!